So, all Python genetics. We're talking hats. What's up guys, welcome back to GB Snakes. I'm Gershon, and today we're talking about hats. Basically, ball python genetic hats. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please go hit the subscribe button. And if you are already a subscriber, go double check and make sure you hit the bell so you know when I you get notified when I put out extra videos or when I put out videos. Oh, I messed that up. Keep going. Also, go check out my Instagram. I am right now I'm trying to post a picture a day. So if you're not on my Instagram, it's GP Snakes, just like the channel, which you already subscribed to. Uh, go over there, check that out, and if you see I miss a day, message me like, hey, what's up? You missed a day. But yeah, so today in this video, we're talking about genetics. We're not going over all by ball python genetics. We're just talking about head today. And hopefully you go away with some information and hopefully I don't confuse you even more. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get into this video, guys. All right, guys, so first we're gonna show a visual clown um, who is head albino. He's 100% head albino, but he's a visual recessive gene. Um, we're gonna show him he is the fa father of this clutch that we're gonna show of how we got hits, and he's probably not gonna calm down. So let's see if he just sits there. Now we're gonna show uh, she's actually in shed, which sucks. But that's a good thing, because she's back eating. This is, oh, actually this is the wrong female. My me, help me. I'm not even cutting that out. I'm leaving that in. Here's Demona. So that's Nightcrawler. I forget, I gotta get used to saying their names more often. So here is Demona, and she is Het Clown and Het Albino. So to produce Demona, uh, the breeder I got her from bred a clown to an albino. To an albino. So it was a clown male to an albino female. So that produced double head clown albino, uh, clown albino. Yeah, I said that right. Okay, so when I paired these two guys together, I had a visual clown to a het clown. So I'm gonna put up the screen. I forget the odds and numbers for that, uh, with the odds of producing visual clowns um, out of that pairing. But everything else. In the clutch between these two will be a hundred percent het clown if it's not a visual. So they're both are het albino. So I paired these two, they they the odds of hitting albino clowns I'll put up on the screen because I don't know the odds, but they're really slim, especially since it's head to head breeding. Um but let's show the babies from this pairing to let you see the odds and how they worked out. I actually got everything in the pairing except one uh, possibility. All right, so here are the first two animals in this clutch of that pairing. Both of these guys are 100% het clown because uh, it was a visual clown bred to a normal or uh, het, they, you, everything in the clutch is 100% het clown. He passes his genes on immediately. Um, but they also are 66% het albino, pos het albino to be precise. I can't say that word. Uh, so when you breed a het to an het, you either have the chance to hit a visual or you, they call it a 66% chance that that, uh, animal could be het for whatever recessive gene they're het for but you won't know until you breed them out so that's why you sell them as pos het so you don't know if they are they have the chance of being it but you won't know 100 percent sure until you breed it out yourself so these are 100 percent het clowns 66% head albino, and these are the most likely you'll get in this pairing. 
These have the highest odds of producing these in that pairing of a clown head albino to a double cl double head clown albino. I'm, it, it's, I'm mixing you guys up. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, and the second most likely to see in this clutch is these guys. Clowns who are 66% head albino, pos head albino. So all these clowns are 66% pos head albino. So they can possibly carry the uh, albino gene in them, but they visually show the clown gene because they're clowns. That parent, I'm gonna put up the numbers of the possibilities of these guys coming out as clowns. I'll put that on the screen because I don't have the number in my head right now. I probably should have remembered that before I started this filming, but I didn't. And we got this guy who is just ready to go. So we're going to hold him on. So, yeah, all these clowns are 66% head albino. Two are actually available if you're looking for a uh, clown head albino. All of these guys are male. Um... And the uh, last egg, which is the second to the hardest, I believe, to produce out of this pairing, we got one albino. So I'll put the chances of hitting that albino up on the screen. But in this clutch, we got almost everything you could hit in this clutch. With a clown head albino to a head clown albino female, you hit everything except the thing I was going for, which is the uh, albino clown visual. So I hit everything but that one, which kind of sucks, <laughs> but it is amazing. I think this girl might prove out head albino because she is very light, but that's just, just my opinion. Um, yeah, so that is what happens when you breed a het to a het and a visual to a het. I was able to do that in one clutch and show you guys how the results happen. As you can see, since it was a visual clown, my chances of hitting clown were a lot higher, which is why I produced three clowns. And since it was a head to head, my chances of producing albinos was a lot lower why I only produced one albino but then my chances of hitting both clown and albino are super high and you see I didn't hit any are super uh, yeah super high so I didn't hit any which sucks but we're gonna probably try this pairing again next year if the girl gets up to weight and does breed again but yeah so let's go to on to how do you make heads? All right guys, we're doing another Name My Snakes and this one is a little special, but before we get to the names, check out the t-shirt wearing Reese's Pythons t-shirt. Thanks again, great t-shirt. I washed it and it still feels good. So go check out Reese's Pythons, get a shirt, he's got stickers, go check him out. Great channel, I'll leave the description down below. But for this Name My Snake, I've been watching Doom Patrol. If you didn't know, I have another channel all about nerd and anime stuff, uh, cartoons, movies, TV shows, I review them and stuff like that. Check it out, Blackie Cool. I'll leave a thing up here, up there, or in the description. But I'm watching Doom Patrol right now. I'm watching the first season. So I figured I have a male that needs to be named and there's three characters, male characters on Doom Patrol. So that's what my Russo male, he, you get to pick his name up from Doom Patrol. So. These are the names. They're gonna be Robot Man, uh, Negative Man, and it's gonna be Cyborg. So out of those three names you get to pick, all you gotta do is put in the comments of this video, and then the next Thursday, I'll check and see who commented the most, or how many comments I got for that name, and that will be that snake's name. Also, if you want to, go check out my review of the first half of season one of Doom Patrol on my Blacky Cool channel. That link will be in the description as well. So you know how this goes. Greatly appreciate you guys supporting me in these. Uh, I'm gonna start putting up my snake's name on Instagram too. Do it on my stories so everybody knows. You go to my stories if you wonder which 
snake their names are. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool. So thanks for doing it, and let's get back to this video. So here's Kagome. I'm gonna be really careful for her because she is a gravid. Um, she actually will produce double heads this season. But I'm gonna show you her. She's a pied. She's a visual pied. So I took her and I bred her to Nightcrawler, who is a visual clown. So everything they will produce in this clutch is a hundred percent clown head albino. I mean clown head pie. Sorry. So every baby that they produce in this clutch, the clutch they're about to, she's about to drop in another 20 days. And the clutch that she did drop a while back, and I'm gonna show you her offspring to show you what uh, their babies will look like. They're gonna look normal, just so you know. No surprise there. Um, will be 100% clown head, 100% head clown albino, head clown pie. I keep, I'm, I just talked about albinos all day. Um, so I am trying to breed these two to produce siblings that then can produce these two genes in one snake, which takes a while. The recessives takes a while, but that keeps their price up and makes them in more demand. So let's see these guys' offspring, show you what um, their offsprings will look like, being 100% het clown pied. All right, here are their offspring that I produced two years ago. They are both 100% het clown pied. Both are female. Both should breed this season. So here is, oh, they're all tangled up. Here is Dee Dee. And here is Silk. And they're trying to get away. So these two will have the chance of producing clown el clown pies for me hopefully this coming season and i am getting a male that will help those odds just like the clown albino clown head albino i am going to get a male that helps my odds of producing clown pies a little better with the pairing so it'll be a visual a visual male that is het that will go to these two double hets, which give me a better chance of producing the double visual, if that makes sense. Uh, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Hit me in the comments below if you have any questions. I'll try to explain it a little better. <laughs> it's kind of difficult at times to explain it to where people can understand it. I kind of already get the gist of it, but there's still new stuff we're learning in ball pythons about genes. Um, allelic genes, acts like super genes, we're learning new stuff. We just found out about the chocolate gene and the spot nose gene, that they act like supers. So that's pretty incredible. incredible. But yeah, these are, this is hets, how hets work, how you make hets. Take two visuals, uh, recessives, breed them together. Or take one visual recessive you can breed in and make a head. But this is how you make double um, heads. All right, let me put these guys away because they're getting real feisty. All right, there we go. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I know I slipped up a couple of times, but I think it makes sense. Let me know in the comments. I probably messed up here and there, so let me know in the comments. And if there's something that's super bad, I'll try to clarify it or send you somewhere where someone can clarify it even better. But I try to do a little different than other people have done their, you know, genetics of ball pythons. People have done different videos. So I tried to make it visual so you can see the snakes. Um, once I have more visuals and more heads, I might do another one. Let me know if you want to do just a regular codom and, uh, Codom and a Dom genetics bio pythons. Let me know in the comments down below. But thanks for watching, guys. Oh, I forgot to say, I do have new t shirts. I have the albino version of my logo, 
go check Teesprings and there's a in the description there's a promo code so you get five dollars off if you use the promo code I'm working on the clown version that should be up in maybe a week and I'm also working on a vinyl I mean a pie version too so stay tuned for that but as always guys appreciate you checking out the channel if you could go over to Blackie cool subscribe to that channel it's a new channel I'm still trying to grow it if you like nerd stuff and if you like to see more of my face and hear me talk also I have a podcast Blackie cool podcast if you want to check that out yes I'm plugging all my stuff because this is my channel that's what you can do but thanks for watching guys greatly appreciate all the support we got eggs coming soon so look forward to that and I'll see you guys next Thursday